Thanks, Jaywan. All right. So this is a real privilege to be here today to tell you about our vision of a future of a different form of mobility at Uber. Um, we call it Uber Elevate, which is the work that we're doing to create this new form of urban aviation that will transform the way that we move around our cities and move from, from point to point, from A to B on a daily basis. So at Uber, what we're doing is investing in this, the, the aspects that are adjacent to our core business. We're designing airspace management systems, operational concepts to create this, to be able to design the networks that actually operate in this way to make this a reality. This is an example of a network that we've designed over the Los Angeles region. This network consists of about 40 nodes um, for takeoff and landing spots and can move about a million people per day through this network of, of air vehicles without straining the, con the, uh, the, the airspace system that we'd have to, to put in place to manage this. We are not building vehicles, however, and this is the other critical component. We've chosen to take a partnership approach on the vehicle front. So we have five vehicle partners that we're working with uh, to, to develop vehicles that correspond to what we think are the right product and business type requirements to create a network that actually works at scale. So we're working with established companies such as Bell, Boeing, and, uh, and Embraer, and we're also working with startups like Carum is reduced because the options for ride sharing become greater and greater as time goes on. That means parking structures aren't going to be as useful in the future as they are now, and we're looking at ways to repurpose that into these types of multimodal destinations that Uber Air will, will require um, in the future. But we're not just looking at repurposing existing infrastructure. We're actually working with architectural partners to envision a future where this type of, of modality of, of transportation is a regular, a regular thing that occurs on a daily basis. So this is a vision of a skyport, that we, as we call them, that's actually been designed to a very rigorous set of constraints about how you can take off and land, what the spacing is, um, what the regulations are around the, uh, the operation of this type of a, of a structure, um, to be able to handle 1,000 landings per hour. So just a few of these skyports in that network around Los Angeles that I showed could handle double digits of the overall transportation flow through the city. We think that's pretty exciting, and that's a world that I want to live in. So, is this real? The answer is yes. We have a pretty ambitious time frame. We're pushing with our partners to have demonstration flights of these types of vehicles in 2020. That's only a couple years away. So I'm going to leave you with a video that shows a vision of how this service will work um, in the very near future. And I've seen this video about 100 times now, but it never gets old to me because this is a world I want to live in, and this is a world that we're going to make happen in a time frame closer than you think. 